13 Loves Pets, sponsored by Home Pro, your local Bath Planet dealer. Well, it's time for my favorite segment. It's time to meet this month's Adopt-A-Pet. This is Boston and his foster mom, Angela, and a volunteer with Harbor Humane Society. Paula, thank you guys for being here so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for having thank us. You. So tell us a little bit more about Boston, Angela. You're his foster mom. Yes. How did he come to be with the shelter? So unfortunately, Boston was abandoned in a trailer with his brother. Um, he came to um, the shelter back in August. Luckily, a neighbor heard him and let him out. He was in pretty rough shape at the time. Um, so and the, the shelter sometimes causes dogs to have a little bit of stress. So I saw him and said, you know, I'll take him. And he came in with his brother, right? Yes, yes. What happened to the brother? The brother was recently adopted a few weeks ago. Okay, but Boston so, is still waiting. Yes, Boston is still waiting. He's hoping this is his big break. Someone will see him and fall in love with him like we have. He is so cute and so calm and chill right now. I love it. Tell us a little bit more about his personality quirks. Sure, sure. Well, now that he's healthy, his personality is really coming out. He's super sweet, very <laughs> lovable, loves to be loved. He just likes to hang out and cuddle. He goes outside, does the zoomies, and comes back in and takes a nap. Um, he just really wants to be someone's best friend. He's, he's really looking to find his forever home and find some peace for him. Yeah, and what does his forever look like, forever home look like in your mind? I think his forever home looks like him being sort of the center of attention with his family, but at the same time, he just, he needs to be in a place where people are around. He loves his people. So maybe somebody that works part time or works from home or has, you know, some kids that are maybe like 10 and older that can play with them. He's a big guy, um, but just basically somewhere where he can find some peace and just love everybody. And, um, can he go into a home with existing animals in it? So he is not a cat guy. Um, and you know, neither, I'm that's not a fair. cat girl. Yep. Yeah, but that's okay, some people are. Um, he, he's done really well with my two dogs. Um, he needs proper introduction um, with new dogs and he would need a lot of pa patience to sort of foster the relationship. Um, it might be good for him too though to have um, all the attention of the, the owners in the house. So it could go either way. It just depends on how much time and patience somebody has to work with him. Okay, good to know. And if someone wants to go um, and apply to adopt Boston, where do they need to go? They just need to go to the Harbor Humane website and there is a form on there they would need to fill out um, an application to adopt him and then somebody from the um, rescue will reach out to him. Right. reach out to them. Awesome. And Paula, we also wanted to mention Harbor actually has a fundraiser coming up. We do. We have uh, the Betty White Foundation in celebration of her. She was a champion of dogs. It is January 17. It is at the uh, Harbor Humane. Um, they're going to have special adoption events and they are also going to have some cake and ice cream and raffles and you can also come in and make just a donation if you're a huge animal lover that you want to support Harbor. Uh, we are completely nonprofit, so anything that uh, any donations we get go to 100% to the dogs but it's a great event and we'll have lots of dogs um, and sometimes some puppies also adopt ready for adoption. It sounds like a great time. Thank you guys for being here so much. We have more information about Boston <coughs> on our website as well 13onyourside.com Blake, Boston wants to know if the sun will come out today. <laughs> Boston might know best.